Ik heb het niet. Je left down to milk away on Mars. What? You left down to milk away on Mars. <laughs> I like those ones. They've written on my splashback. Three sleeps, is it really only three sleeps? Yes, yeah, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Ooh, three sleeps! Yay! You could at least try and look excited. <laughs> Oh, it's a karaoke one today. Is that a book? Yeah. Oh, cool. That'll give you something to pass the time. Pony camp. You'll um, you'll have that read in half an hour, probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, Satan. That's what I feel like doing the chocolate most of the time. Just totally face planting it. Oh my goodness. Your turn to clear up this time, I think. everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 23 i hope you're all well to be honest i don't know what today's vlogmas is going to bring because i was planning to take you along to different garden centers today to show you some nice lights and singing santas and things like that but for obvious reasons that can't happen now so instead i'm going to be stuck inside having a massive marathon wrapping session woohoo <laughs> Not exactly the most fun for you, but I did promise that I would still do Vlogmas, so here we are. It's real life, folks, and that's what we try to bring you on this channel. So these things happen and we just need to go with it. We just need to keep smiling and carry on regardless. So, yes, I will be wrapping pretty much all day. I will chat to you when I can. I'll still do my hot chocolate and all the rest of it. And of course, we've still got our music quiz to do because it's a crazy Christmas karaoke one today, so I knew Brooke wouldn't do it. And today is one of my favourite songs, and it's one of a couple that I was hoping to do a duet with, with Granny Annie during Vlogmas. But, again, for obvious reasons, that hasn't happened, which you should be glad about, because if you think my singing's bad, hers is a lot worse. <laughs> so... The song is Sinatra was swinging, all the drunks they were singing <laughs> and dance through the night. Okay, we all love this song, don't we? We all know what the song is, we all love it. What is the missing lyrics? Sinatra was swinging, all the drunks they were singing <laughs> then dance through the night. Sorry, I was out of breath there. Um, so. Yes, tell me the missing lyrics in the comments below. Of course, the song is Fairy Tale of New York, The Pogues and Kirsten McCall. Just an amazing song. I think that's all for just now. My goodness, not got much to say at all, have I? We're actually feeling a wee bit worse today. Um, I don't know if, it's, if that's normal with COVID. I have been feeling really sick since last night. And I just, my head's still really sore and just, yuck. I've not spoken to Abby yet. She's a teenager. She's still in her bed, for goodness sake. It's only five past nine in the morning. Why would I see her? As far as teenagers are concerned, there's only one nine o'clock in the day. Um, Brooke's still fine. Jack isn't feeling great either. He's feeling worse. And I'm not sure about my dad. I've not seen him today yet either. But yeah, it's, it's a bit yucky. It's a horrible thing, isn't it? I thought it was going to be like the cold and you would feel rough for a couple of days and then start to feel better, but it seems to be a bit of a rocky road. We just need to keep it till it gets better and stop moaning, don't we? There's nothing else for it. 
So yes, today I am going to have a massive, massive wrapping fest and hopefully get it all finished today. Then tomorrow I can relax and chill out and have a nice day. Either, I don't know if I'll be doing baking with Brooke because um, we've not made any cookies yet with the cookie cutters. But to be honest, if I'm still as tired as I am now, I probably won't. But we might play some games with her. We might watch some Christmas movies, all that jazz. But today I need to get the wrapping done first. I have procrastinated long enough. It cannot wait any longer. I just need to get on with it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I will come back to you when it is hot chocolate night. Abby's Christmas Eve stuff all wrapped up. And that is obviously her stack. You saw Brooke's one. Um, a couple of vlogs ago, these were from Matalan and um, you'll see my mum's on Christmas Eve because I've already done that but yeah, it's very cute. So that's done, the wrapping leaves a lot to be desired I have to say, it's shocking but hey ho and uh, I'm just going to go and have my hot chocolate now. So today I'm going to try the last of the spoons that I got in home bargains and this one, sit, is orange flavour and you know how much I love orange chocolate. I can smell the orange already so I'm really looking forward to it. The thing with the spoon ones is I love how frothy it goes. It goes really sort of creamy and frothy looking and it does smell delicious. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Wow, you get the hit of orange straight away. Well, I tried to let herself out there, but the door's locked. Ha ha ha! <laughs> that is nice. That is really nice. I thought we might just have a wee chat this morning while I'm having my hot chocolate since I'm not really doing anything exciting. I cannot believe how close we are to Christmas. Three sleeps to go, as the elves reminded us on my cooker um, today three sleeps and to be honest this is a terrible confession to make I don't feel very Christmassy right now and I don't know if it's because of the whole Covid thing and not being able to go out or if it's because I'm a bit stressed for having all the wrapping to do or what it is but usually at this point I am so festive and buzzing but I'm just not feeling it not feeling it at all um, and Abby was saying the same I think a lot of people are like that I think the weather's got a lot to do with it it has been so mild recently although we have had quite a bit of fog but it has been really really mild there's been no sign of even frost never mind snow and yeah it just doesn't feel like Christmas I feel like I'm starting to get cabin fever as well, um, being stuck in the house. I don't know, I'm thinking tomorrow, I'm thinking about going out for a run in the car. I don't know if that's against the rules or not, but if I'm not getting out the car, then I don't see why not. Um, you know, it'll give me a bit of fresh air, a change of scenery, just help everybody's mental health a bit, won't it? Because that's what I wanted to chat to you about. We we'll listened to wee Nippy yesterday, I should stop calling her that. We we'll listened to Nicola Sturgeon, was it yesterday or the day before, talking about our um, new restrictions that are coming into force from the 26th of December. So we're still getting Christmas, isn't that nice of her? Um, and she's basically changing a lot of the rules around events. So outdoor events can't have any more than 500 people so that means the football's going to be behind closed doors again which Jack obviously and Abby aren't very pleased about and the indoor I can't remember what the rules are but there's all these rules now so basically it means that we're missing the Iron Brew Carnival yet again our New Year tradition was always we would get up on New Year's Day and go straight to the Iron Brew Carnival at the SEC because if we went there first thing, it was nice and quiet while everybody was still hungover and we would get on everything nice and quickly um, and then we would leave just as it was starting to get busy. But last year it wasn't on because of lockdown. The year before we went to go but Brooke wasn't well. She um, had like a sickness bug. So... Yeah, we've not been for ages and we'll love it. So we thought this year we're definitely going. And because of the restrictions, I think it's today that it opens, but it's only on for three days. 
because of the new restrictions from the 26th, so they can't be open after that. And obviously we can't go on these three days because we're isolating. So that's a bugger. Um, I mean, I'm pleased that she's still letting us, you know, visit people and things like that. As long as all the windows are open, never mind the fact that it's, like, winter. And she's not the one paying the, the heating bills, is she? But keep all the windows open. So at least the likes of Tracy's um, Boxing Day Buffy can still go ahead, which is good. Because she got all the stuff in last year for it and couldn't do it. And she's got everything in again this year. And I was worried that she wasn't going to be able to do it, but she is. So that's good. That's Tracy the Mad Scots last. They're changing the rules again about hospitality as well. It's got to be table service and all sorts of things. So I don't know. I would imagine a lot of shows, pantomimes, things like that are all closing down. It's just... It's a bit sickening, isn't it? I mean, I know that I like to be upbeat in my vlogs, and I will be again. I just want to have this little moan because it's sickening. People are sick of it. We just need to learn. It's like the flu. It's not going anywhere. It's a virus. It's going to keep, you know, changing itself. We're just going to have to learn to live with it. And if it means social distancing and wearing masks, fair enough. If it means isolating when we've got it, fair enough. But every other time, just let us get on with things as normal. Keep the events open. Keep restaurants and cinemas and everything open. Let's keep the economy going. The economy's going to be on its knees. It's ridiculous. All this money that she keeps borrowing from here, there and everywhere. And she's moaning that, you know, Boris won't give her enough money to do what she wants to do. Well, how do you think you're going to get independence if you're that reliant on Boris? How do you think you're going to cope as an independent country? Oh, right. I'm going to stop talking politics and stop ranting now because it's really making me angry. Have another sip of hot chocolate, everyone. Oh, that's like melted orange Smarties. That's what that's like. And yes, orange Smarties do taste different. Brooke says they don't, but they do. Yeah, so let's change the subject. Are you all organised for Christmas? I hope so. Um, we watched Get Santa the other night, which was good. That was a really good film. I do love it. And we also watched, what did we watch the other? Oh, last night. It was a film that had been on BBC Scotland called Lost at Christmas. And it was basically terrible Scottish acting. Um and a pretty mediocre storyline but it was one of these that once we started watching it we had to keep watching it to see what happened and it was okay it wasn't really Christmassy but it had Navid from Still Game in it um, and it had Claire Grogan from Gregory's Girl and what band was she in? Altered Images? I can't remember Sylvester McCoy who was Doctor Who but other than that the acting was rubbish and Jack was getting frustrated because it was showing you a lot of the Scottish scenery when they were travelling. And he's like, that is impossible. They couldn't have got from there to there in that amount of time. How can they be there and then there and then there again? And I'm like, Jack, it's fiction. It's not meant to all be set in the same place. Well, they should set it all in the same place. I'm like, just enjoy it for what it is. <laughs> so the girls have done all their rapping as well. Abby, because she's been working this year, she went out and did a whole load of Christmas shopping and she's, I think she's done, definitely won the prize for getting the best presents this year. From what I've seen, obviously I've not seen my own, but for what she's bought everybody else, she's done brilliantly. And I've got no idea what Brooke's been buying, but Brooke had been saving up her money and bought a lot of stuff online for her friends and for me and Jack and Abby and my mum and dad. So again, I've got no idea what she's bought, but it's so lovely that they're starting to use their own money and use their own initiative now to get things. So it'll be interesting to see. And Brooke had borrowed the scissors and sellotape today and she said, the wrapping's terrible. And I'm like, I don't care. The fact is, you've done it all off your own back. You've bought it all with your own money and you've wrapped it yourself. You know, good on you. So that that's going to be one really good thing on Christmas Day is seeing what the girls have bought. Yay! Good catch, Willa! Oh, you go! <laughs> Look who's there, everybody! Look at him! Oh! <laughs> Look at the height difference for them! Well done, you go!
It's not that long ago that, I w that we were saying he's nearly taller than Willa, Willa. And now when you see them side by side. Willa. Oh. Loving, and I thought I would take a little break from rapping because it occurred to me that I haven't spoken yet this vlogmas about our Christmas traditions. I know I have covered it in previous vlogmases but not all of you were subscribers by, back then so just very briefly today since I'm not doing anything I thought I would have a chat with you because the Chinese takeaway just got in touch and I was like oh our dinner! So for anyone who doesn't know, we have a Chinese takeaway for dinner on Christmas Day. Although my dad's breaking tradition this year, he's making a steak pie for him and Abby, but the rest of us are sticking with the Chinese takeaway tradition because you know what I'm like at cooking. I'm rubbish at cooking. I hate cooking. And the last thing I want to be doing on Christmas Day is cooking. So it has been a tradition for a long, 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 long time, pretty much since we used to go to my gran's house for Christmas dinner and she would make the work, she would make this, the soup and prawn cocktail to start with the crusty bread and then your big sort of main course dinner, mostly turkey and things, but me and my dad would usually get steak because we didn't like turkey. Well, we liked it, but no. Nah. Um, and then a nice dessert, she would make a nice homemade trifle or something for dessert, maybe a dumpling, a gluten dumpling if we were lucky. So when my gran was basically too old for that and then when she passed away we decided right what we're going to do and as much as we would love to go out for Christmas dinner a it's way too expensive and b we like just chilling in our jammies or our scruffs we don't want to be getting dressed up so we'd settled on a takeaway and pretty much the only takeaway that was ever open in our area was a Chinese takeaway and we loved that anyway so that is what we have on Christmas Day for dinner. But let me rewind a bit, go back to the beginning, and I'll tell you what happens from first thing in the morning. So as soon as we wake up, usually my mum and dad wake us up. <laughs> They'll say, right, okay, we'll come over at half past seven, but seven o'clock we'll get a phone call. Can we just come now? They're worse than the kids, so um, yeah, they used to obviously have to travel, but now they're right next door in the cabin, so we just get a chap at the door, and we're like, oh, time to get up then. And the girls will bring their um, Christmas stocking, which will hopefully be full of presents from Santa, into our bedroom, and we'll all sit in our bedroom while the girls open their Christmas stockings. Once I've done that, we have to sing Jingle Bells on the way to the living room, because if Santa's still there, we don't want to give them a fright when we go in because if we give them a fright, all the presents might vanish. So we sing Jingle Bells to let them know that we're on our way so you can finish putting the last presents down and disappear. And once we've sang Jingle Bells, we go into the living room and hopefully, not so much now, but it used to be brilliant watching the girls' faces when they saw all the parcels under the tree. It'd be like, oh, wow! And yeah, just amazing. Not so much now because they're older, but it's still nice to see. And then the girls will go, they'll get stuck into opening all their presents. Then we will do the adults' presents, which there's fewer and fewer of every year because, let's face it, we don't need presents. We get ourselves whatever we need. And once we've done all that, it used to be that we would go to mum's house and see if Santa had been there for the girls. And now, obviously, we just go next door to the cabin to see if he's been there. And we open all the parcels from there. Then, when we come back, again, way back in the past, we would go and do the other visiting. We would go to my Aunt Mary's to see Donna and Emma. We would go to my grands and all the rest of it. But none of that happens now. So, what we do now is we come back to our house. Jack makes a nice breakfast. Usually just like square sausage and haggis and things like that. Uh, rolls on sausage, that sort of thing. And then we chill out for a wee while after our breakfast, then we go somewhere for a nice walk with the dogs. Now this year we have got some mulled wine and we are hoping to heat up some mulled wine and take it in a flask with us and just have a wee toast to the year ahead um, wherever we are on the walk. Now obviously we have got Covid so we need to go somewhere quiet where there's not going to be a lot of people but I believe we are still allowed to go out for a walk so 
pool, definitely be doing that. And yeah, just one wee glass of mulled wine, just as a toast, and hopefully we'll all be there. But we'll wait and see how my mum and dad are, if they're wanting to come. And uh, yeah, then we come back, chill out, maybe watch a Christmas film, whatever Christmas rubbish is on the telly, eat some of our Christmas chocolates. We used to play with Christmas toys, but not so much now, obviously, because they're older. And then it will be Christmas dinner time. We usually have our Christmas dinner around three o'clock. And that's what made me think about talking about this because the Chinese takeaway just messaged us. I messaged them yesterday to say, are you delivering? Because obviously we've got COVID. And what time are you opening? And they had said last night, we at the moment we've not got a driver. So it will be collection only. And what time were you wanting to get your dinner? So I had messaged them back and they've just messaged me to say that that's fine if we put our order in early. So we might do that tomorrow, put our order in, say what we're wanting and just let them know that we want it at 3pm. They'll make sure it's ready for us, which is lovely of them because normally they don't open till half past four, I think. So that is really, really nice. We did say that we're isolating, so they said it's not a problem as long as we've got the right money. When we come, they'll put the dinner outside for us. We'll pick up the dinner, pop the money down, and then they'll collect the money. So it's all good. It's all good. I was a bit worried that we weren't going to have any Christmas dinner because how are we going to get it? But it's fine. They're really good about it. And so we have our Christmas dinner we completely chill out and again, Christmas is past, we used to go visiting at night, we would go and see my mum and dad's close friends Margaret and Brian and we would have like a little Christmas party at their house and I would go to my friend Laura's mum's who lived just round the corner from Margaret and Brian and we would carry on the party into the wee small hours. But now obviously that doesn't happen and so we will have our Christmas dinner, chill out, probably put a Christmas movie on and then mum and dad will go into the cabin and we will just relax the rest of the night. It'll be a lot quieter. And to be honest, I prefer that. I loved being out at Margaret and Brian's and out at Gordon and Farry's, but it was always a slog to get there because I was so comfy and really just didn't want to go. But once I was there, I loved it. But now the thought of not having to go anywhere, just chilling out, having an early night if we want, having a wee drink, just perfect. So that is going to be our Christmas day. Um, Boxing day, we've never done anything. We occasionally, years ago, would have visitors come in. My mum always went to Mount Margaret's on Boxing Day and Mount Margaret would make a big meal that they would have throughout the day. They wouldn't sit down to three courses, they would have a starter and then they would chat and open some gifts and then they would have their main course. So it was spread out throughout the day. But we've never done that. We just like a chilled out day on Boxing Day. We might play some games, we might do some baking. It's a case of just playing the day by year and taking it as we find it because it's just so good to know that there's nothing that you have to do. If you want to do something, you can, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. And now that the girls are older, it's good because we don't need to constantly keep them amused either. They keep themselves amused. So yes, I just wanted to come on and have this little chat with you to let you know what to expect from our Christmas Day because um, although I don't put Christmas Day video up straight away, I will be filming it and it will go up a few days after Christmas once I've had a chance to edit it because the way my Vlogmas is working, I film a day in advance. So Christmas Day, uh, Christmas Eve, which is the 24th, won't actually go up until Christmas Day because we film it and I won't have a chance to get it up on Christmas Eve night. So Vlogmas Day 25 will actually be our Christmas Eve. Hope that makes sense. Right, so I'm going to go and continue wrapping now. I just wanted to let you know what to expect from our Christmas Day vlog when it arrives. That is our Christmas Day traditions. I'll see well, you in a week. it is ten past twelve and I'm all wrapped. Everything's done. Yay! I've still got a few things that I need to print out for Christmas Day. Look. Oh! Better not show you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm going through my usual panic that I always do at this point because I look at it all and think there's hardly anything there because obviously when the kids are young we love the 
the fact that the presents were spread out all over the living room and the face when they saw it. But obviously things are a lot more expensive now, so it's like this tiny little pile and you're like, is that it? And it makes me want to go out and buy a load of junk to wrap up just so that it's got that look, but it's a complete waste of money. So I'm not going to, but I do panic every time it gets to this stage, thinking I've not got nearly enough. But we had a budget, I've stuck to the budget, in fact I went slightly over the budget, um, and I've spent the same on both of them, so that's all you can do, isn't it? <sighs> so I need to try and get it all put away now, that's the problem. I'll get Jack to help me, I think, because he's good at things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that that's all done. I'm starving now because I wanted to just push on through and get it finished. Um, and I have, so that's good. So I'm going to get this stuff put away, have my porridge, and then I think this afternoon I'll print out the things that I need printed for Christmas Day. And you will see what those are in the big day vlog. There's something else I'm forgetting. You know how you just get that feeling that... I've either hidden something somewhere or there's something that I thought, right, I'll do that nearer the time. There is a, one thing that I know of for Abby that hasn't arrived yet, um, which is quite a, a critical part of the day, but I'll substitute there in case I need it, just in case the other thing doesn't come in time. I was kind of hoping it would, but we'll wait and see. If not, it's not the end of the world. But yeah. So I'm going to head off now, get this stuff put away, and I'll come back. Hey, how are you feeling? Hey. Oh, you got your avocado, your avo Merry Christmas t-shirt on. <laughs> These elves had been at the sweets this morning. There was empty sweetie packets everywhere. <laughs> but uh, your gift is over there with mistletoe. Hi, Hugo. Oh, oh what you got? Honestly, oh, kind of Oh, yeah. Elf socks! Santa, I know him! <laughs> oh, perfect that you've not got any socks on. Molly! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> they're cool! <laughs> Brilliant! We'll go with your elf cushion that you got last year as well. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's in his favourite spot. Hello, my puppy cat. Hello, lovely boy. Hello. Oh. He's a good boy. I just remembered that Jack's dad was meant to be coming up today. I knew I had something else to tell you. Uh, yeah, Jack's dad and I, they live down in the Carlisle area. And we don't usually get to see them before Christmas. And this year we're like, we're definitely going to do it. Because it's almost almost always quite a bit after Christmas that we see them. So we're like, we're definitely going to do it. And we had it all arranged. And we were going to go and take the dogs to the dog park and all the rest of it. And then... We all came down with COVID. So that's not happening, unfortunately. So it'll be after Christmas now before we see them. It's a shame when these things happen, isn't it? But it can't be helped. Keep smiling. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. <laughs> oh, the puppies. Hello, Hugo. Hello, Clyde. Hello everyone! Yes, you guessed that I'm in my bed again. <laughs> I feel rough. Jack was really rough earlier as well and um, went to his bed for a while and I kept my bed and had a wee snooze. I feel a wee bit better but I just feel generally drained and yucky. Um, so Jack is treating me by making the dinner tonight. He's already fed the dogs and he's making the dinner so I'm just chilling out in my bed and uh, editing this vlog and I just thought I would come on and say cheerio to you all nothing else going to be happening tonight going to be chilling out I might get up and go through the living room or I might just lie here I don't know I'll wait and see um hopefully tomorrow will be a better day hopefully we'll be feeling better and um I still do want to go out in the the car for a wee while just to get a change of scenery and a bit of fresh air because I'm sick of being in the house but we'll wait and see, but I'm completely organised now for Christmas, which is great, it's a brilliant feeling, and uh, yeah, so, so good. So we will just wait and see what tomorrow brings, but I wanted to just come on and end the vlog here. Please don't forget the answer to, the, to today's music quiz is the missing lyrics, not the song name, and tomorrow will be our last music quiz of this vlogmas, because um, there's no point in doing one on 
Christmas Eve because you won't see that until Christmas Day. So I'm going to make tomorrow's one the last one. It's been a bit of a, a bit of an odd one today, but hopefully you've still enjoyed it. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 24. Ooh. See you later, everybody. Bye. Ho, ho, ho.